Hi, I'm Amy, and this is my husband, Greg. That's me. I'm Ashlyn, and I'm married to Paul. Hey, that's me. And I'm Kyle. I'm Lauren. So, I'm Evan. I'm Jaden. And I'm Brooklyn. I'm Autumn. I'm Jensen. Hi, I'm Madeline. I'm Steve. And, and we're, we're in the Marriott. Welcome to our large family vlog. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Okay, today is another cook and bake with me day, but I don't think we're gonna do any baking, but we are gonna do some cooking. So this is for my food prep for this week. I have, like last month, I did a huge shopping haul where we broke the budget. You can see my video, lots of food. Well, my freezer downstairs is an old school, it's the Calvinator freezer. It's like one of those huge old school, it was my aunt's when I was a kid and it's awesome. It freezes so well. I keep thinking in my head, I should get a new one. I'm like, this thing works so, so good. So I'm not going to, I'm gonna keep using it. And then, um, but what it is, is from the humidity, cause it's been really humid here, down in the south, um, all the stuff builds up on the coils. And so every few months, usually in the winter, I like to do it like every two, three months, but in the summer, usually it's about every month and a half or so. I have to kind of take everything out and let it defrost out. So that is my goal this month to do that. So I figured I would do a gather up your fragment challenge. I don't know if you want to call it a challenge. Gather up your, people do the pantry and freezer challenge. Same thing, just gathering up your fragments. I feel like you should always gather up your fragments instead of keep going and buying and buying. Then you use up all the food that you have. So that is what we're doing this week. So I was looking and I'm like, oh, if I go shopping, like if I do this one more time and then go shopping, like that'll make it well for two months worth of food, which is awesome. So I think I can do that, which is pretty cool. So I'm like excited to get that done. And so the, oh, and I haven't been buying, I've been buying things just for the house. I haven't been buying any groceries. We did buy two gallons of milk extra this month. And then yesterday I went to Big Lots and I was buying some stuff for my house, which I'll show you today. And I, they had 50 cent tortillas. And I was like, ooh, that's a good deal. So I bought some of those because we were we only had a couple more things of tortillas. And that's something we can make. We're actually gonna do it today with some refried beans. And so that is what I, the only thing I bought extra, which is really good. So, and I'm gonna go this weekend for Father's Day, pick up a few things for Greg. He wants to have, we have steak. I already have steak that I bought. So I'm gonna pick up like a watermelon. I'm gonna get some, maybe corn on the cob. I'm not really sure of the extras, but some things will buy extra. So it'll be things like that just for Father's Day, but we haven't had to do any like food, food shopping at all, which is really, really good. So went two months worth of that. And the only thing I had to buy, what is my device in life, girls? Coffee? No, no my device, the thing that I have to always buy and can't stand buying. Uh, uh, no, I love coffee and I buy coffee all day long. Girls, hot, think. Hot, hot Cheetos? No, <laughs> no, no. No, uh, no. Anything with coconut? Hold on, I should cut uh, this all out. Okay, hey, girls, listen. It's, it's this is Jake and Brooklyn over here. Okay, it's the things that we have to keep buying over and over oh, and over oh, in the okay, household. Got it. Toilet paper. Toilet paper, but Obviously. we and have bread. <laughs> bread, but I, we can do without bread. But toilet paper, I have not had to buy toilet paper. The only one I did just buy yesterday was those big giant rolls because the girls have those downstairs. And Lauren's like, Mom, I'm on my last roll. Get me another one. They love those rolls. That big giant roll lasts a good week downstairs, which is awesome. So I went on Amazon and I bought more of those. They'll come next week. So that lasted six weeks. I looked at my order last time. Six weeks. So that was awesome. I think you get six rolls. So it's like a week of roll. It's like $30. It's so like $10 a week and toilet paper downstairs. But I have a whole lot left over. Let me show you how much I got left over. Come show me because, you know, finding toilet paper and how much toilet paper a person has is pretty exciting. It's all the color changes. We still have all, all, oh, there's no light, all that toilet paper. That goes back two rows and three in the front. Toilet paper right there. And don't mind this. I'm going to get, I just got those airbags. I'm actually going to put that in there. Look at all that toilet paper. I have two rows of toilet paper all the way down. Two and four across. So we've still got lots of toilet paper. So toilet paper is the only thing we had to buy, which to me was pretty good. I mean, I bought the milk. Didn't have to do the milk, but I've had eggs, but we, um, I'm like, I'll get milk and then we'll do cereal again. So that's it, which is awesome for our family. So just gather up those fragments. You'd be surprised at how much you can use. What else do I have? Oh, and then I want to announce the winners. If you go back on the winner video for the Norwich stuff, go look. I put posted to the comments. I think I told you guys go check the comments three days later. I already did, but I just want to say it in here in case someone didn't do that. So these are the winners for the Norwex giveaway. I had eight giveaways for my 65,000 subscribers, which is awesome, is Michaela Thomas. Congratulations, you are a winner. Amanda Zielinski, you are a winner. DM Decor, you are a winner. Sandra Peffley, you are a winner. Gold Squizzy, that's a cool name, Gold Squizzy. You're a winner here in Australia. Samson and Tara Williams, you are a winner. Uh, Lydia Grabovac, G-R-B-O-V, 
BAC Grabovac. Grabovac, right? Lydia Grabovac, you are a winner. And Amanda Marie, you are a winner. So congratulations to you guys. So you guys send me an email, lovinmy12 at gmail.com. I'll put everything below. And you guys contact me and I will get you out your random two things of Norwax. So congratulations to you guys. So thank you for all your support and everything. So today, okay, so today's gonna be a clean, cook, not bake, because I'm not gonna bake. James baking this weekend when we did our painting, so I'm just gonna do cook with me. And I'm gonna have some projects to do too, like I have, I bought those bags to suck in. Remember you guys told me about those things, the safe space, I got those at Aldi's a couple weeks ago, or a month ago when I bought my stuff, and then um, I never put my blankets in it because it just didn't get to. So I'm gonna do that today. I did go shopping yesterday. Um, Lauren had the kids and I went shopping for Father's Day and I went, I found, I found, I was starting to record myself and I was like, oh my goodness, there's so much great stuff. I went to TJ Maxx. Awesome, sorry, I went to like Marshall's before. We usually go to another city and go shopping. I don't know why I haven't been to this TJ Maxx, but I must have never been here, I don't know. I started looking and I was like, oh, they have everything. Let me focus up. They had like my yellow blankets, my yellow, all my pillows. I'm like, why did I not see these anywhere else? So I got a whole bunch of stuff for Greg for Father's Day, so I probably, maybe I'll show you today. He'll see, this will be posted before Father's Day, so. I will tell him not to watch this. <laughs> so nobody else that watches that works with him, don't, don't, don't tell what he got. So he got, he basically won, did a bunch of clothes. And so, or he didn't want, but he always says, honey, I need t-shirts. And so I got a bunch of clothes and a bunch of guy stuff that he could use. So that's, the kids are going to wrap. He, he does watch my video programs. Like he watches your videos. Well, ho hopefully he'll be too busy. He won't watch them. Sorry, daddy. Don't watch the videos. I'll shut it off right here. Be honest, because I will tell when you open your presents if you knew or not, so I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, so we're gonna let the kids wrap those up today because we got a bunch, I got a bunch of stuff and there's just tons of things, fun things to open. So it's just, it's fun this year because like Father's Day comes around and like my husband has always been the income earner for our home, always our whole entire marriage, whole entire marriage. I always feel bad on Father's Day and like his birthday and going and buying gifts with his money. I mean, <laughs> it's not his money our money, but it just, it just it seems like, okay, I'm gonna go take your money and go buy you a gift. It just, I mean, I know that's what you do because we're just sharing the money, but this year was the first year I was able to buy something out of like my income. It's not mine, it's ours, but- Ooh, oh, independent. Independent, oh, no, no, no. Do you guys know what I mean? Like, it was just a good thing to be able to go, look at, I can spoil you with things and like, I didn't have to take it out of the grocery budget or I didn't have to say, honey, I need money for your gift. Or, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I hope that's what you understand, I'm not thinking it's his and hers, it's just, it was just fun to do that. So I was able to go get him a bunch of stuff and feel like really good about that. So that was some fun this year. So I got that. So the kids are gonna wrap all those up for him so he can have a big pile. And we went, and Lauren's like, she had the kids and so she took them to the dollar store so that they could buy gifts for daddy, you know, cause the dollar store gifts for daddy's the best cause he does that for me too. And I'm like, honey, what am I gonna do with 10,000 spoons every single year? <laughs> no, so they went and they're just like, mom, come with me. So I went with her over there and then I found like so many other things and I'm like, Lauren, stop doing this to me. I'm spend, spend, spend. So I found some neat things for the kids that we just use for school and stuff. So I added more, so I'll show you all that today too. So it'll be a little mixture of things that you get to see today, but back to food and what we're gonna do. I'm looking to see, oh, and then I'm gonna paint. So my goal today, which it's already getting close to lunchtime is I slept in, I was tired and that's okay to do that and get up till 8, 8.30. And then we just did our school. We got school done, so that's finished. I don't have to worry about that. Did the chores. So what I'm gonna do food. We're gonna put away the decorations and stuff. I gotta show you what I got. And then I'm also going to finish painting. You're gonna see my house like with paint on the sides. And for the first people that first time people that watch my channel here, that's I don't normally have this on my walls over here, but I'm in the process of painting my house. And so it's gonna have to take steps because it's just me doing it. So for me, I figure I'm gonna be staring at that and go, ugh like seeing all the paint on the wall so I'm, it's gonna motivate me to get everything done so today I gotta put one more coat on all my paint I let it dry really good but I need to do one more coat and everything so I feel like I can get that done today and then maybe this was week if towards the end of the week we'll do the ceilings I'll see and then we can start on the walls which would be awesome so that's gonna be my big giant day today and go to the park because it's gonna be 80 degrees and there's no rain for the first time in a long time at our house so I'm gonna go do that as well these are the foods that we're making today <laughs> okay and then a haircut I'm looking at my list of what I'm doing today this is my stuff down here, my reminders. I gotta order some stuff from the library. Car wash, Jane's gonna wash the car. Mention giveaway and haircut. I gotta give the boys a haircut. So these are the foods that we're gonna make today. So we're gonna make smoothie pops because I have a lot of yogurt, tons of yogurt left over. I don't know why or how, but we do. So we're gonna make smoothie pops for those because the kids like those. They're healthy, they're good for a snack when it's hot out. So we're gonna make a bunch of those. And then um, my dinners I'm gonna make, today's Tuesday. 
basically I do dinners a lot of you ask how do you do your meals do you freeze them and then thaw them no I make them today Tuesday and we'll have it Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and then to Saturday and that usually they're pretty much used up and then if they don't are gone I throw them away by the, like Sunday Monday so that's how we do our food we cook it and we just put it in the refrigerator if I don't or if I don't need to cook it all the way I'll just put it in the refrigerator until we need to bake it but what we're gonna do today is my husband's been asking for spaghetti spaghetti <laughs> so kids don't love spaghetti no, 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 he wants plain spaghetti. He doesn't want baked. I like baked. I like baked. Me too, but he wants plain. So I'm going to cook a bunch of pasta, and then we'll have a big bowl of pastas in the refrigerator, and then I'm going to make a pizza, uh, spaghetti sauce, and then I'm also going to make a fettuccine sauce. I'm actually going to do a homemade one because I only have one jar in my cupboard of fettuccine Alfredo sauce, So I'm gonna, but I have two cream cheese, So I'm gonna, and I have fresh um, Parmesan. So we're going to make our own um, sauce for that, and then I've got a bunch of chicken here. I'm going to cook probably in a pressure cooker because it's easy and then we can shred it and put it with that so basically it'll be spaghetti one day and the next day it'll be fettuccine so we'll have that i'm gonna make a big pot of sausage red beans and rice because i have a lot of leftover beans that i'm pulling out of my freezer and using those so it's not like the real way i just do kielbasa red beans chili beans i don't even think i have any onion i have no onions can be dried onions you should put green pepper in there tomato sauce it'll be easy and then i'll keep that separate and do a big pot of rice because we're gonna have the rice that day then we're also gonna cook i have a roast a london broil roast i'm gonna put it in my pressure cooker and just cook that super tender and so it kind of falls apart and then we're gonna do like a chinese rice because i we do soy sauce and what's that other stuff called sesame seed oil and then we just mix the rice and that and put it all together so which i probably should do fried egg too and do fried rice yes I'll probably do that, but I might do that the day of eating it. So I'll cook my rice separate, my meat separate, it'll just be cold, and then when I go to make it, I'll cook some eggs in the pan, and then we'll add the rice, and then the meat, and kind of cook it together like a fried rice. Like, that's what it is, so we're gonna do that. Okay, so that's gonna be two, three, that's four meals right there. So it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then my husband has got fish, he's been going fishing, and so Evan usually eats the fish a lot, but Evan is gone all summer, so I'm like, honey, you need to eat this fish. And he's always like, honey, but you gotta pull the bones off of it because when they bring it, they just cut the heads off and tail and they have it. And so you cook it and slice the bones off, which- It's trout. It's trout. Very small. Greatest, but I, they're so small, but I am allergic to fish. I don't touch fish. I don't do anything with it. So he told me, honey, I'll eat fish this week. So I'm like, okay. I said, or stop bringing fish home. <laughs> Cause it was always before he'd go fishing and he'd talk about how a freezer would be full of fish. We'll be eating fish forever. Well, then he didn't bring any home. And I'm like, cause he's a fly fisherman and they just fly fish and then catch and release which is just a fun art science, or just fun sport. Only in off season. And I, well, they usually just like to do that, but then this year they're like, and I'm like, honey, what's the point of fishing for hours and not bringing anything home? Well, then he started bringing fish home, which is awesome, but I realized what a pain in the butt it is to cook it, <laughs> because no, but you have to pull the fish things off, and I don't touch it, so I'm like, it's all you, but the kids like to eat it, so I'm gonna make some, I got some over here in the sink, I'm gonna put some stuff in a bag, and then I'll put it in a pan and cook it, so when he gets home tonight, right, maybe, Yes, tonight I'll cook it so that when he gets home, he can pull off his fish bones and eat his fish and everybody else will too because they really do like that. So that's something I'm gonna make for him. I'm gonna try to get those in because I got it. My freezer's got a bunch in there. It's gotta come out doing that. Lunches, what we're gonna do for lunches, I'm gonna make a big thing of, I have tomato paste, or actually I think I have a can of tomato sauce. Oh, hold on. Okay, actually I don't, I don't have any pizza sauce. So I have a whole lot of tomato paste. And so if you don't have pizza sauce, you can make your own. So I'm gonna make a big pot container of that put it in the refrigerator and then I've got a lot of pita bread downstairs, tons and tons of pita bread. So this week we can do, um, for lunch we can do pita pizzas, easy. And I've got the Canadian bacon, or basically ham, to put on top. So we can do that because I have a lot of cheese too. So that'll be a lunch. Brooklyn is gonna make, she doesn't know this, good cheese with the tortillas I got, refried beans and cheese. I got a whole bunch of refried beans, I pulled those out. So she's gonna make a bunch, we're gonna put them in the refrigerator. And then I'm thinking, we have two, I have two cans of tomato soup. Someone told me about the, uh, my camera keeps focusing, not focusing. Um, make the lazy cabbage casserole. I never made it because I used my cabbage for coleslaw. So no big deal. So I have a huge can of tomato soup, a little can of tomato soup, and then I'm probably gonna add a little bit of like tomato paste to it and milk and then make a little bit bigger container so we can have tomato soup for lunch because we do like that with crackers. Yeah. Somebody leave that, and pull it out and eat it. So tomato soup, I know. It's like living the life, kids. So I'm gonna put that in the fridge and then we can grab that out and eat. So I'm gonna do that and make our smoothie pops. And that's it, I'm not gonna do any baking because we have, I still have breakfast muffins in there. I'm thinking what else, and I have those breakfast cookies, so I don't feel like we would need any. And then this weekend we'll have treats, I'm sure, with daddy, so. And then we'll have smoothie pops, and I've got a couple popsicles left over too, so I'm just trying to use those up, so. Okay, all that talking, I'm done. I think I'm done. Yeah, so that's gonna be today. So we're gonna mix this up. It's gonna be a really simple, easy, gather up your fragment day, because it's 
pull together, put it in the refrigerator, and that'll be it. And then I'll have food done for today, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday, which will make my rest of my week easy and not too bad. So, okay, so right now, I'm gonna go, is that it? That's it. Okay, so now I need to go get the girls. The girls are gonna help today, because they love it, and they're so excited. They're looking at me, they're like, at this point, I need help. Oh, Jane, Jane's doing, she's doing decimals and fractions and all that fun stuff right now. So focus, camera focus. She's doing all that fun stuff. So we're going to go, I'm going to do help math for a few seconds and I'll come back and start doing the, the stuff. And you can watch us do our food and painting and all the life of today. So, okay. Thanks for always watching. Face first. Face. <laughs> okay. Brooklyn is, Brooklyn is going to make a whole lot of tortillas with green beans and cheese. A bunch. I got these for 50 cents. So I spent $2 and I'm like, these would be great for lunch. So she's going to make a whole lot right now. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, Brooklyn's making sandwiches over here. I'm gonna get Jaden to make some smoothie pops for us. I'm gonna put in my two pressure cookers right here. I got two of these, so I'm gonna put chicken. I had, I think there's, there's like two huge breasts in here with some of the flavor. I'm gonna put some more of that flavor in here because it's pretty much frozen. I'm gonna get a little bit more of that. It's Hidden Veil, everybody asked me. It's, it was a huge box of like salad dressing mix that you would add oil and vinegar to. So it just tastes really good. It's like adding a package of ranch to your thing. So I'm gonna put that in there and then the other one is going to be, this is beef London broil. So I will probably, I'll see if I got some chunky sauce. I don't think I do, yeah, but I'll see if I got some. Oh look, that might be good in there. So that's gonna go in there. I'm gonna turn those on, let them cook till they fall apart. So I'll probably do like a high pressure. Okay, so for in my chicken here, this is chicken. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. It smells so good on top. It just tastes really good. It's like adding, like I said, a packet of ranch or whatever it is to your stuff. And then I add some water. I'm gonna cut. Cup of water. Put that in there. And then put the lid on it. Make sure everything is set. And I'm gonna turn it on poultry. I'm gonna put it on high for my pressure because I want it super, super uh, tender. This is the beef one. Okay, I did see I have a bottle of hoisin sauce. We don't really love this. I know people do. I like hoisin sauce. We don't love it, but it'll be okay in here because it won't be, um, it's not gonna be like, we're gonna just use it as a side. Like Meat will just be like accompanying it to the rice. So I'm gonna put this in here. There's so much, so thick. Well, let me see if I, I think I have ginger too. Probably enough ginger. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add some onion to it. Minced onion, you know. Real fakey one. No, I don't have any fresh onions, so minced onion will work. I'm gonna add garlic to it. Big pot of garlic. This is gonna be Chinese, like Chinese meat. And then I'm gonna add soy sauce. You should make dumplings. You guys can make dumplings. I, we should make dumplings. Sesame oil. What kind of dumplings? Like for chicken or beef? Like what dumplings? Like noodle dumplings? Yeah, you know, like you know, you fold them up and you put the meat in. That's like, creative, Brooklyn. That's not. Oh, our the things that we make. Pots. Yeah. Pots. Yeah. That's just because you can call them dumplings. If you guys would like to, you're welcome. They're supposed to. Be. I feel like Japanese. You have. Like they're not Japanese. Not Japanese, but like. Dumplings. I don't like, like, have. Like yeah. another time when we have. Yeah, the cabbage. Too. Okay, then I got ginger. So I put a little bit of ginger in here. Brooklyn. What? I'll be honest. Like where they have, have Japanese. Chinese, uh, you mean? 
Yeah, that would be Asiana. Yeah, Those are good. Oh, we could do noodles with like this. <gasps> That's what we'll do, Stephen, with this meat. I'll make the lo mein noodles. There we go. Mom, That's what I'll do. I'll make the extra Mom, noodles. So, uh, Asiana. Yeah. No, so, there's a place like, where it, um, it's like in, there's a place called Boomies. I'm not sure. Like, we'll do that. Okay, so Stephen gave me a good idea. We will do noodles to make lo mein noodles or rice, either one. So, I'm going to turn on again. I'm going to do a beef, meat, and then do high pressure and turn around. I was looking for bananas for Jade, and I actually found a little container of the vegetable mix. So I'm gonna put that in my chicken because that's what I want really flavorful. So that's in here now, so we're gonna let that, I'm gonna turn that back on. I was like, oh, I gotta stop it. It was almost there. Okay, there we go, back to poultry. Okay, and then Jaden is over here mixing up. I was over there. She was over there, she's gone, she's not here anymore. Um, smoothie pack, no smoothie pack, what are you making? Yogurt, yogurt, strawberries. Oh. Blueberries, and then I put some bananas in the freezer. I pulled those out because I was gonna not use those and save those for smoothies, but she is gonna be gone, and so I'm like, you know what? I'll just, we still have more, but that'll be, we'll make it more sweeter. And Brooklyn is over here doing the Mexican grilled, grilled cheese. cheese, so, and I'm putting a whole, all my leftover tomato paste in here. Then I'm gonna add water, spices. I know it's not a real professional way to make spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce, but there's really gonna be no difference in pizza sauce. It's gonna be the same as spaghetti. Just adding spices, basil, oregano, garlic, salt. I don't think that's it. Onion, I think that's all I have, so I'm gonna use that. Okay, so now I'm gonna make up uh, the, I got the sauce over there cooking. I had to scoop out some tomato paste because I forgot. I still have more in the cupboard, but I was just gonna make a big pot, but I forgot that I have to make sausage ripping the rice. So I'm just gonna cut up kibasa. This doesn't look like a lot. I have some hot dogs I'm gonna throw in there too. And I'm gonna put all my beans. I got some frozen kidney, or kidney beans, like small red, red beans. Red beans, there's some homemade chili beans. I got canned chili beans. We're gonna put in there and make it a nice red beanie sauce. Okay, so this is a gather of your fragment um, sausage, red beans, rice. I thought I had more chili beans, but obviously I do not. I have one can. So I added pinto beans to it. I have, so I basically have to make the chili sauce, which is a bunch of different spices. But I added some Italian seasoning, onion, salt. I added cumin into it. And I'm only going to add a little bit of cayenne pepper. I always add way too much because they're always like, my mouth's on fire. So I'm going to just add a little bit and then test it and see. And I forgot I have all these diced tomatoes. So I had a can in there. I'm going to put the lid on this and let it cook and see what happens. And then I'm open these three right here and add these to my can back, pan back there. And Jane's over here. Look at it. She's got, Jane, show your, your stuff you make. Look at all my containers in the sink. All her, oh look, don't drop it. Don't drop it. All her yogurts. Yogurt. It's not done though. Yogurt. She's making yogurt. Making oh, smoothies. Sorry, doing good. Yogurt. Brooklyn's got a whole huge stack over there. I'm going to go put this on the stove and let this cook. Okay, search my cabinet and look what I found. Diced green chili. Yay. So this will actually taste better in the sausage, red beans, and rice. So I'm going to put that in here.
Okay, so Jaden got two pans. Show me your two pans, Jaden. One. Let's do a thumbnail. One. Oh, wait. One. Wait, come down the camera. Brooklyn, come to the camera. Because I never do a thumbnail, and do you know how hard it is to get a, oh, Brooklyn's like, I gotta clean my, you know how hard it is to get a thumbnail when I'm going through my video? Like, I always try to, like, go past the video and try to find one where I'm looking at the camera not making a funny face, and I'm like, it is like, I never do good, so I'm gonna try to remember to do a thumbnail. Brooklyn, okay. come on. Brooklyn, come back here. Hold, Hold your tortilla in your hand. Here they go. Let's do a thumbnail with tortilla, Brooklyn. Ready? It's hot. Ready? Ready? Hold it, Brooklyn. Smile. One, two, three. Yay! Okay, All right, girl, see how that works? I don't know. We'll see how that works. So she had that. Then I opened up my refrigerator and I had a little bit of strawberry sauce from strawberry shortcake, so I just had her. She made five cups. Let me show you over this way. She made five cups of smoothies left over for the kids, and then she just dropped the strawberry sauce in top for them. So that's good. So we're eating Janita Warfield's rice. Warfield. Her rice. That, Juanita. Remember, Juanita. Is that Juanita? Janita. She says Juanita. with a J. Janita's fancy. She's so good. She even gave me some um, seasoning for... Greek season, I just haven't used it yet, but I will. Maybe in Greek steak this weekend. So we have the rice and the tortillas for lunch. So now we're trying to use up those tortillas. I still have some wheat ones. So Brooke and I said, why don't we do, I have, remember I got this stuff for like, I think it was three for a dollar. We're gonna put some tortillas, put peanut butter and put some of this on top and then put the other tortilla and then make that as a sandwich as well. So we'll have two different sandwiches for the week. Tomato soup, I totally forgot to save some tomato paste, which is fine, but I do have two huge cans of this. So is there a container down there? Neither. Let me see her. Let me help her get container. I, I scooped Sorry. out three containers. That's gonna be a pizza sauce. So I'm gonna let that cool, then I'll put it in there. So Jaden is gonna use up the rest of our tortillas and she's gonna spread peanut butter on a tortilla and then some of that marshmallow cream. I think this cream. is our last tortilla. Is there more in the pantry? Oh yeah, there's more in the pantry. There's a lot more. Oh, okay. We got one more to make. So we're gonna do that. I'm making, I got Janina's rice here with some salsa on top for salsa. And then um, I'm waiting, I'm thawing my meat in the microwave because it's frozen solid and I'll put it in my spaghetti sauce. The spaghetti sauce will be done, I'll put it in a container and then I'll move on to the fettuccine. Hopefully this will keep going. Here's the for another sandwiches. Kids like those. So that'll hey, be a we pause, we pause your music. Good. Oh, okay. did she? Okay, so what we did, we got the Kool Aid going, we got the fluffer nutter. So the spaghetti sauce, I, the only bad thing is I don't have like big containers to store all this in. I'm like, oh my goodness. So I do have tin foil pans. Um, so I will, I poured what I could into one over here. And then I had to do one container. Otherwise, I tried to put, I trust me, I poured it in here and then I was like, I'm just gonna overflow so I didn't move it. So I put it in here. So now I'm gonna put the sausage, red beans, rice in the other one and I'm gonna wash my pan so I can start my other meals. Okay, so when I go to heat this up, I'm gonna put this in my pressure cooker so I know that most of my beans are in these two containers, so. It's the, it's the red, don't drop the Kool-Aid, Brooklyn. Don't drop the Kool-Aid. She's like, it doesn't taste like Kool-Aid, it's watered down. I'm like, exactly. No, that's Less, way, way too much. I didn't think the Kool-Aid. Did you add one and a half of those scoop containers of sugar? Yeah, sugar, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it. Okay. It's water. Water, Brooklyn, water. Taste it though, don't taste like and then here's all these like it's red meals so this is all gonna cool before I put it in the refrigerator Brooklyn is gonna just whisk this this and this in a bowl there's no sense heating it with however much milk I think it's one can of milk for each one from what I remember um so one can of well they do water let's do milk milk and milk and then they'll just whisk it put it in containers like this and we'll have another red thing to add to this week <laughs> red Yay. red
Okay, so we are cooking and moving. I got my pasta sauce done. Spaghetti, I'm gonna have a big pot of water over there. It's, I only have two big burners. So that will cook in just a few minutes. So this one is gonna be a small one. It's gonna be macaroni and cheese. I forgot I'm gonna tell you to make macaroni and cheese because I got those hot dogs. So I'm gonna put that in there. Um, so do macaroni and cheese next. I've got a fish for Greg. The roast is in here. We actually decided to do that tonight because Greg doesn't love that, but he can eat his fish. So we'll have that. Got my pizza sauce done. Brooklyn did the soup. Refried beans and tortillas are done. Smoothie cups are done. So actually really cool. Doing good. We're doing great. Fantastic. Almost done. So I'm going to mix up, basically put in this pan what I will put in macaroni and cheese without actually cooking. I'll cook the noodles, but not cook the macaroni and cheese. I'm going to make powdered milk because I have a lot of powdered milk and only one gallon of regular. Okay, so in this recipe, basically a recipe, basically it's cream cheese, milk, and butter. So I had two and a half things of cream cheese, and then I think I added a, I had a half stick of butter in there, and I just added one more stick of butter, and then I made some milk. I couldn't tell you exactly how much I poured in there. I just made powdered milk, and then I had that whole container of Parmesan cheese because we have had it, and I thought they would love that more, but maybe I thought we'd have spaghetti more, and we haven't. So no big deal. They like the old fake container kind, which is good. This is my macaroni for my. Um, macaroni and cheese. So this is good. I'm going to shut this off. Always test your food. If you need something, you might want to add salt or pepper, but I don't know. Let's see what it tastes like first. So I'm going to stir this. I'm going to shut it off here. It's going to be hot. Yeah, that's nice and creamy. That's perfect. Okay, good. Okay, so I've got my macaroni and cheese. I added, um, I had a little bit of nutritional yeast left. So I put that in here. Plenty of hot dogs. I actually, the hot dogs are so many. I actually put some in my sausage, red beans, and rice. So I'd be like, I want more hot dogs, but it didn't have that much sausage. So this is good. I cooked it, not still pretty firm. Meals here. And then, um, Lots of liquids, because this is gonna bake in the oven when we have it. And I don't know when we're gonna have it, so this will be good. So I'm gonna go put some tin foil on this, let this cool, and then we'll put it away. All right, I'm water boiling for spaghetti, and I'm gonna do fettuccine noodles too, because I got two different kinds.
Okay, I don't normally ever rinse my rice, but this is, um, I actually get the parboiled rice, which I feel like it's already rinsed, it's clear. This is like a wire rice, so it seems like it's a little bit more, um, like I was rinsing, it was real cloudy. So we'll see if that helps. Okay, so all my dinners are done except the chicken's in here. I put it back in and did it for like 20 more extra minutes. And here's my rice. So what I have is I cooked, so what we're gonna do for dinner tonight, I made angel hair pasta. I rinsed it in cold water and you put it in here when it's cold and they won't stick together. I've got some mixed veggies and I got my beef back there. So we're gonna make like, and or we can have rice. So make like a lo mein Chinese dish for the beef and the veggies. I don't know if I'll do eggs in it. I might, we'll see how the day goes. How much time I have. And then um, so that'll be tonight, because gonna have fish. Fish are in here. It's not dripping out, it's just wet because it's over here because it was enough to put it in the sink and a thing. Pan. So that's gonna be there. And then tomorrow, I think tomorrow, I think tomorrow I'll probably do the fettuccine. I made a big, big container of fettuccine. So we can have fettuccine with the cream sauce and the chicken. That'll be really good. And then um, I did make spaghetti noodles because I want to see how much of this we have extra and how much fettuccine we have, and then we'll have that the next day. Lots of pasta dishes, I know, but we're gathering fragments. And then, pressure cooker's going, and then we have sausage, red beans, and rice. I'll probably wait till the end of the week for that, because that'll be something easy while we're out. And then I did make macaroni cheese, so we might do that on Saturday. And for lunches, we can make tomato soup, those refried beans with cheese tortillas, or those peanut butter, well, I think about fluffer nutters, or um, pizzas. So, and the kids can keep grabbing smoothies if they want. So that's done, my list is done. Okay, so I also, I got this. I was, I was shopping yesterday, and when you're shopping, you should never buy things when you're hungry or thirsty, so I was thirsty, so I was liking. Okay, water's been like my issue to drink lately. I have my big giant water. I don't know, sometimes I get in the mood where I can drink lots of water, sometimes I cannot. So I was drinking those flavored waters, and those are good, so let me show you. Um. And they're, they're good, but they're just small water bottles. So I found these, okay, so it says Margaritaville, and it's not, it's not Margaritaville, I'm not drinking anything in here, it's just water, but it's single, it's peanut, it was a dollar at Big Lots. So all you do is I open this one up and I added it to my Big Giant water bottle, and it made it taste so good. I know it has, you know, like aspartame, yeah, it's aspartame, it's bad for you, right? Artificial flavor. It's always good, but is it really that bad? I don't know. Is this better than having the flavored water drinks? Like from Aldi's? I don't know. Maybe you guys that are health experts can let me know if these are better or if they're both all garbage. They're probably all garbage. <laughs> but anyway, so then I thought, I saw this and I thought I'd like this, but I don't really like this. I don't know. I think it's like the coconut water. I don't really like it, even though I love coconut. So I'm like forcing myself to drink it, but I feel like I'm just going to put this in my water and drink it because this was really, really good pina colada. For a buck, I'm like, yeah, I can put it in my water and just drink. That would force me to drink, but I don't know if it like goes against, like if you drink it, does it make it worse than just not drinking at all, or is it better because you're actually drinking something? I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to do this. I've got Jaden is outside. The girls, it's already, it was 1.30. So we cooked for about two hours. It took, and then I got to sit while the pasta was boiling, which took time. And I'm still waiting on these two right now. Let me see. Almost done. So this is the chicken. So I put it back in. Hopefully this will be good. Do a slow release usually, but it's been in here two times now, so I feel like this will be okay. Okay. Yep, super. Oh, yeah, look at this. Let me bring you along. Look at that. Super tender. So let me put this in a container here to get it out of my pressure cooker. That looks 
so good. Okay, so what makes it is, I mean, a little bit of that spice mix I put, but those veggies cut up. Remember how I did all those veggies and then froze them? That is what makes it taste so good. So I'm just gonna kind of shred this a little bit. I should get my little shredder out. I know you can use a mixer. You guys talked about that. That's awesome. I don't wanna get it. One more thing up because I'm tired of being in the kitchen. Yes, I said it. I'm tired of being in the kitchen. <laughs> Today's the day I'm like, okay, I need to get out of here and go move on to something else. So this is good. This tastes good. Mm, delicious. I'm gonna wash this, cover this with foil. Put this in the refrigerator and then wait on rice. That's it. Yeah, we're gonna go do something else. Okay. This mom is moving on. I'm waiting on his rice, so I'm going to be done. In the kitchen here, I wiped. I wiped up. I didn't like scrub. I cleaned, but like I could have scrubbed the stove better. But this week is my week that I actually clean my kitchen, so I'll do that later in the week. That's fine. So dinner's over there and finished. So I'm gonna go go get all daddy's presents up for Father's Day and let them wrap them up. So Brooklyn. Okay, so the girls, I asked Brooklyn to do to organize the wrapping crew. So that's like Jane's cleaning the car and she's like, that's not fair. So Jane, do you want to organize all the little kids' wrapping gifts? I think not. So sorry, Maddie. So what we got for Daddy? Okay, I just dump it all out. TJ Maxx. Awesome and clothes for TJ Maxx. So we got him Calvin Klein. Got him some jeans. So I got Daddy some jeans. And then I got okay, my bedroom thing is quiet. Let me pull it back. We got a pair of I can't see, so I need to be able to see. I need to be able to see. Let me see. I got a pair of shorts for him. Daddy wears shorts, and then I have a drawer full of um he's a worker. My husband's a worker. He works, he does cars, he does it, he's a hands-on guy. He is not a preppy office guy. I mean not preppy, I shouldn't no. Preppy. Daddy works, daddy works, he works, he gets into stuff, he fixes things, he does it. So I have his shorts and I said, honey, you have a designated drawer and it's the dirty drawer. <laughs> and so it's the clothes that he wears out in the garage and gets oil on and grease on. So it had like one pair of shorts in it and then it turned into like two pairs of shorts. And then he's like, honey, I have three pairs of shorts now. And I'm like, Ugh. so all his shorts I got him a few months ago are all turning into greasy, garage. raggy garage clothes. <laughs> but daddy works in the garage, not greasy, they're just, He's just a worker. Thank goodness for it because he fixes all our cars and fixes anything needs to be fixed. So I hope he keeps these nice. So got him a pair of swimming trunks. Betty, come here. We're going to start moving. And then these, I got him a belt because we his belt broke a long time ago and um, like a Columbia one. This is a great. TJ Maxx is awesome. Um, got him one for the wedding. It's just like a fancy one. And he's like, honey, I need a regular belt. Well, he'll be happy to have a regular belt. So just a regular belt. And then I got, he wants t-shirts. I always keep buying him these button up shirts. And he's like, honey, I want a t-shirt. So I got him a one button up shirt, but it's like that nice wicking cooling fabric. So I got him this. You're gonna be able to guess. Shh, he's quiet for me because it's really loud when you'd be surprised. And this one. This is like a is that under armor? It's like under armor. Yeah, the under armor thing. Can you tell what my favorite husband's favorite color is? American Eagle. And I think these are Lee. Lee. Oh, I thought it was Lee back. Lee, that's the V-neck. Levi's and this one this is I don't know 32 degrees cool it looks like one of those cooling shirts it's gray he loves black black and gray that's his favorite color and then again the Calvin Klein jeans do you think daddy will wear that one I don't know I might put my arm in front of it I did get him a striped one Lauren's like oh that doesn't look like daddy so we'll see stripes that does look like that so it's American garage garage it says it right on the tag garage I feel like that's a daddy shirt and then this one is um just a Reebok Reebok shirt and then he likes the soft knit shorts but I don't, he doesn't wear them out he just wears them like around the house and so I got him a pair I don't know if he'll wear them with it or not but if not we'll see so I got him that nice socks and then I got him two hats because he's always like I've bought 10,000 hats over the last 20 years and they're all gone so you know it's my fault because I wear the hats out and throw them away or something <laughs> no he leaves them somewhere so got him two hats in the, garage. in the garage exactly in the garage and then I got him okay so and then I got him the, this this is Cedarwood Activated Charcoal Bar Soap. This was $8. It smells really good. What was that? A lot of sniffing. Don't sniff Maxine. This, when I mean, they had, they also had polo deodorant. I thought it smelled good. I don't know if he'll like it, but oh, it smells, it smells really good. So where's this cleanse at? Men's 3-in-1 wash. This is Amberwood. It smells really good. And then I got them, um, they just had a Beverly Hills Polo Club spray. It was $6. And Versace, he likes his cologne, so I got this for him. And then I got, they had man candles, like it was specifically a man one as I was walking. And it smelled really good, it was black like this, and then I was walking out. The Midnight Wood, it's you Midnight Woods, it's eucalyptus leaves, coconut water, and sandalwood. And this smells so much better, more manly. So I got this, not that he likes candles, but I'll put it in the bedroom here. So he got, I got him that. 
And then I got this little basket. You guys talked about getting a basket for the bathroom and put his stuff in. So I figured this will be good to hold the stuff while I wrap it and then I also put it in there. And then he also, okay, so then my husband always, okay, my husband gets out the door for work and he's carrying his tablet with him. He's carrying his, he's got his stuff for work in his hands and he's got his wallet and his keys and everything else, coffee. And he's always like, honey, I, he goes, I need, I need a purse or something. I need some extra hands. So, so like I have so joked over the years that daddy needs a man purse. Okay. So I've joked about the man purse. If you've got a man purse, nothing wrong with that. And so he, so every day he's carrying this white, like a grocery bag every day, coming in, going out, coming in, going out. So I was like, I'm gonna buy him a man purse this year. So I like, I even looked in the women's section, there was nothing women, but I found in the man section, men's. this one, men's, man's section, men's section, this one, this is a Swiss gear, always on the move. But it's got, it's, what's it say, fit, let me say fits five to six books, oh, laptop and tablet sleeves. So it's got tons of room. So inside he can put his tablet and he can put all his stuff in here, because he always brings home like, little drill bits or little plastic pieces from work that he's working on or whatever just stuff that like it just gets like accumulated in his car and it's in a trash bag and i'm like honey so he's got himself a man purse so i don't know if he'll use the man purse what do you guys think think he'll use the man yeah, purse he will i feel like he will for a little bit then he'll be like honey so we have to tease him that it's a man purse but it's not i mean there's nothing wrong with the man purse man purse is good and then we got him no, it's a nurse it's a nurse yeah, that's right so then we got a candy so down here oh let me go down the girls I'm actually in a wrapping candy look. <laughs> we just went to the dollar store and got tons and tons of Swedish fish over here. Tons and tons of candy for daddy. I think his favorite it'd be, which one does number, number one is? Swedish fish. Swedish Second fish. favorite is Junior Mints. Oh wait, we like Good and Plenty. Good and Plenty. He likes Good and Plenty and Junior He likes Mike and Ike. Mike and Ike, he likes a lot. So they got him all those little candies and he likes to have a little treat in this thing and just grab it out. So they're gonna wrap all these up and put them in a bag for him. So I'm gonna have him do that tonight and then we'll surprise him. So this will be the girls doing it now. Okay. What I did is I went to Big Lots this week and I was like, when I bought my curtains before I didn't have extra money to get the two rows, remember how I was like, oh, I'll save a buck to get them. Well, I went back this week and I was thinking in my head that I got the bright white ones and all, they didn't have any more of those. All they had was this was like white with silver and I was like, oh, I missed it. So I actually bought two packages of these because I figured I would just uh, return them if I didn't. But then I came home and I realized I had the same one. So I'm replacing my curtains so that now I have all white across instead of the white and the gray. The white and the gray was okay, but I did every time I kept staring at it going, Ugh, I don't love that, so I am just changing that. So now I have There you go. Oh, I feel like I you to say. Oh, there. Okay, so doesn't that look better? Ah! Okay, so doesn't that look better with the white? I like that much better. All the way across. Yeah. Now we got extra dark ones. The boys can use them. Colin can use them, and Evan can use them. I will try to zoom in. It doesn't work. Okay, we got them done. And then I got this. Let's get Steven. 
I found this yellow blanket that I really like. They did have a white comforter, but it doesn't fit all the way. So this is cute. I thought this was really cute. So I got that for it, too. Okay, Steven Jensen, how you can doing? I grab, can I grab you can. Oh, look at. <laughs> all right, Daddy. This is Jensen. What Jensen? What are you wrapping up in the pink, the, the pink wrapping paper? That might watch this. What are you wrapping? No, I told him. No, he didn't tell him not to. What? What? What, what are you wrapping in the pink one? Uh, man bag. <laughs> Just so you know, Daddy, it's Jensen's idea to wrap it in pink paper. We didn't even have enough pink paper, so that's... It's man purse. <laughs> Look at you boys laughing at your daddies. Daddy, can be funny with a man purse? Yeah. <laughs> He's going to be great. He's going to be okay with all this stuff. Look at Jensen. He is taping away. I love it. So he's got all that. The ultimate paper. You're the ultimate paper. Look, Dad. Look at that, Daddy. You're going to love it, Daddy. From Jensen. No, I'm just kidding. Look at all those gifts. Can I wrap them all together? No, so that'd be too hard. Okay, Steven's gonna wrap over here. There's Steven, okay, wrap away. I think it's sweet, should fit. No, right, Steve Pride is on them. Okay, so we got jet. So my list is getting complete. I got all my food done. We, what else did we do? Clean the car out. Jensen's, and I made two airplanes. Jensen made two airplanes out of the things. We made, um, we got daddy's present wrapped. And so then I found these and I had to get a suitcase out for Jaden for camp so she can go to camp. And I was like, ooh, I need to suck up all my stuff. So I'm gonna see how big these are and I'm either gonna, I'm gonna put some, either the pillows and blankets, I don't know, maybe the comforters. I'm gonna go pull down my closet, fill these up, but we have a lot of winter coats too, so I might do that. Brooklyn can help me, I think. She wants to so much because she's walking by me right now. She's like, what, mom, help you, what? We just need help sucking up stuff. It'll be fun. It'll be fun, so I'm gonna, we're gonna try this now. Okay, so the last one that I used to this, um, the vacuum sealer someone gave me a bag, that sucked in, and then I tried doing a regular bag, that didn't hold up. As soon as I put it up, it came out. So, in this, I put, I put um, the yellow comforter, because I like it, and I don't want to get rid of it. And I also threw th three kids' coats in there for the winter, because the next, <laughs> the next time we open this, will probably be winter time, like when everybody comes to visit for Christmas. So, um, just because I need the bedding for when people come for as guests. So we are gonna suck this up right now. Well, Jensen is gonna do it right here. So we have, so yes, technically you should put just a blanket in one, coats in another, but we are mushing it together because I only have three bags. And looking at my piles, I'd like to shove as much as I can in here. So I think that you just turn this open. All right, Jensen, stick the vacuum on and then turn her on. Yes. Turn her on. You can probably do those super nice and neat and flat and awesome as the boys fight with the vacuum. But I'm just about getting them all in the package. So very cool. That's on my, most of my, well, most of my winter coats for everybody, which is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna try to shove these in my closet now. Okay, so <laughs> look what I did. I finally got my hamper in here. I don't like it sitting here because it's like dirty laundry sitting out all the time. So now I can actually just have the carton and just the thing. That looks good. I probably I might put my chair back out here. I actually put it in my closet. Okay, so this cl this closet. They give you like this much space to shove something up in there. I'm like, oh my goodness. But I put all the blankets. We won't need, if anybody does come stay, we're not gonna need the big giant heavy comforters until winter time. That's what's in their bags is boots. So 
that stuff's not gonna be touched till winter. I'll stress and pull it out come winter time. For now, no one's gonna touch it. And these are just gloves. These are extra bags. Those are some pillows I bought at Goodwill that it's gonna make for my bed and I realized they don't want to get rid of them, but they're like rectangles, so I might do something with them. So I'm gonna keep them for a little bit. All of our stuff here. And then I do have one more. Um, I had to put that over there because it was too wide to go up on top. So Jaden has one big suitcase, so that will go there. When she's done it, all those shoes will go. There's shoes all in here inside that suitcase. And then Evan has a huge one. And I might just have him put that under his bed when he's finished with his stuff and that'll fit better. And then I'm holding on to the toilet paper because who knows, maybe Laura will use it. But then this fits in my glass and I love it. And I'm like 50,000 rolls of toilet paper. I like it. So, okay, so that much done. So I have stuff and painted. That's the other thing I want to get to today. So I'm gonna see how life goes. We'll just see what happens. Follows me looking. Like, hey, where's the mommy? Hello. She says, hi, mommy. Are you so sad? Oh, she says, I'm just, would you just sit down and do nothing but hold me? She says, I have, you need a bath today. I was thinking you need a bath. Do you want to get, because she got paint on her side over here? She got a little bit of paint. I think you need a bath tonight. I feel like Brooklyn's going to have to give you a bath. Or mommy. Either one. Susan's a good girl. You want to go out there and go, go get those boys? She's like, maybe. Let's go. Let's go get a mixing. Okay, look outside. Oh, it is so beautiful. I wish the lake would. Oh, I feel spider webs. Don't get close. <laughs> you just never know if it's a spider. Um, look how great it is. It's actually really warm out. Maybe we'll go and sweat to death because that's always good to do. Go and sweat, enjoy some hot sunshine, and then come home. Okay, that's what we'll do. Our turtle, I have somebody ask if they laid eggs that didn't. He left. There's that. So who's here? I'm looking, I got Mr. Fluffy. Mr. Fluffy. Mr. Fluffy, you're laying on my chair. What do you think, Mr. Fluffy? She's like, I'm so tired. Okay, then we got Bear. Bear's underneath here. Bear! That's Lauren's kitty. Where are you? Lauren's kitty, after we had all six of her cats, and she worked at Greystone, and she came home, and she's like, Mom, he was the last kitty, and they were gonna get, they didn't have a home for him. So, that's how we get accumulated Bear. He was inside kitty for a long time until he realized that there was a whole outside world full of other cats, so there was no way he's gonna be inside. And I also got paint for my chairs, I just realized. I did it by some cream color paint, so I'm gonna paint my chairs. One of these days, I better go write that on my list. I'm gonna write on my list till I can't start something. <laughs> Ruby's barking at those poor kitties. I don't know why she's having a kitty fit lately. Okay, there she goes. Look at her, she's just howling away. She, I don't know, she's down for somebody. Okay. So I'm gonna go uh, write down paint chairs because I will totally forget, then get kids. Okay, so I changed my mind. Went outside, it's pretty warm. So what I'm gonna do is, I started the fish outside, so that, <laughs> I keep moving down, let me move down, there we go. I started the fish outside, so that's on the grill. And then I'm gonna paint, might as well paint the kids outside playing, some more inside. I'm gonna paint, get that done, then we'll have dinner, then we'll go to the park when it's cooled off tonight. So goal is to get paint on this month. That's what I'm gonna focus on right now.
<laughs> I painted until my paint can was gone, so now I'm finished. <clears throat> definitely a messy painter i'm okay with that so remember when you see the drops all over the carpet it's okay we're gonna replace that and the sooner we get the painting done the sooner we'll replace the carpet so in here is where i have to worry about because it's all tile and this is good um so i'm gonna have to go back with a um my husband and son they have a wood shop along with a sign shop so guess what they have these little tiny tools almost look like a pencil with little tiny like corners and it's like sandpaper so i will be coming down and sanding off all paint on my floor yes i will my husband says just clean up as you go but it just doesn't work that way so i've cleaned up most of the splotches but there's a few so i'm gonna stop i'm gonna wash this off and then it's a little bit after five i'm gonna get dinner for the kids then we're gonna go to the park then we'll come back and do haircuts fast and then i'll finish a coat in my kitchen here and hopefully because the door needs a little bit more so hopefully i'll be able to finish that tonight that's that will be my goal because the rest i think is done and then i can put my furniture back and then i can at least look and go okay that needs a little touch up or that needs a little bit more but, you know work in progress so i'm gonna go rinse this off okay i got paint mostly off my hands and i got dinner so i just fried up some eggs we're gonna do salt backwards and like just workable so this is what we're gonna do to make a plate oh my rice i must add way too much water because it's a lot squishy that's okay or maybe it's the white rice because i don't usually do what i usually do parboiled so i could have very well just made it wrong it's all good Okay, so the, I feel like it's stuck on me. So this is what it looks like, and then we also, this is our favorite, favorite, favorite sweet chili sauce. The only one I like is this one, made ploy. Love this one. So this will be dinner. Some will have the pasta, some of the rice, whoever chooses it. So this will be and I got Greg's fish over there. So, okay, so I'm gonna pause this, just get everybody's food, and then we'll go to the park. I'll bring you to there. Okay, we made it to the vehicle to go to the park. We made it to the vehicle. We made it to the vehicle, forever. Look who's coming, Maxine! Maxine! She doesn't get to, she doesn't get to run very far. She's like, Mommy, turn the air on. We got all the kids. Jensen's got some airplanes. Chain's back there. Oh. Ah, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. So we are gonna go ahead to the park. You ready to go walk? Do we have water for you? I don't know. I don't know. Does anybody have water? No. Or how about a bowl? Do we have that bowl in the trunk? Yeah. I don't know. That's a good question. Park on. <laughs> we need to check that before we go. Maddie. I gotta get back up. Okay. <laughs> Just see if it's in the secret compartment. I think it is. Secret compartment. Secret compartment. Which one? One, two, or three. We have three? Yeah. No, one, the one the water's in, I think. Or maybe it is in the bottom. I forgot about the secret compartment. I don't even know. All I know is I have paint on my eyeball. Look at that paint up here. All this. Hopefully I see no one because I paint like all over my legs. And you know I will because it's 7 o'clock at night. You need a car seat. Do you need a car seat? She's like, okay, we so we're- We need to take her to Pelicans. Pelicans need a dog treat. Yes, I'm done. Okay, we're gonna go ahead to the park. Okay, so we just pull up at our park, and remember I always got paint all over me and everything, and I'm like, hopefully there's nobody here I know. Well, I just looked, and around our flagpole is like- They're literally having like a ceremony. <laughs> like our community's having some kind of meeting. <laughs> and I'm like, it's like everybody big in our community. I'm like, yeah, hey. <laughs> got my dog and my kids. It's great fun, okay. We're gonna paint all over me. We're gonna, we're, we'll go. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna go with my pink sputtered outfit. Let's get okay, Maxine, we have to leave because of you. She's out of control. She. We saw Maxine's twin here. There was a Jack Russell here, and I was like, oh, that was the dog. I saw. what? Did you see the dog look like Maxine? Yeah. Yeah, the dog that I actually when I wanted Maxine before I knew I wanted Maxine, I saw this dog here, and I was like, oh, that's the dog I want. So it was here. It was a real Jack Russell. And then uh, what else? And then we were just here, and she, there, there's so many dogs coming right now. There's like two huge dogs. So she is at. Oh, what is that? Kristen Morgan, somebody's dog collar. I don't like that. So they, um, so she's barking her head out of control, like barking, out of control, like out of control. So it's good. So we're gonna go home, and then what else? Oh, and then the lady that was here. She said that about an hour ago, a bear came across, just came across here and walked and like was over there. 
I walked across the road and went to the across the street. So I was like, oh my goodness. So oh, that was good that we didn't come in an hour ago, kids. That would have been kind of cool to see. But that would be like the eighth Maxine, look at you. Is the killer dog going to eat us? Where's the bed dog? Listen to her. Brooklyn's going to get her some water. Listen to how much she's. Um, listen to her. Time for some water. We're getting water right now. You just need some water. Do you have water? Yeah, here. No, she's on the ground. She's like, she wants a drink. Okay, we're gonna head home now because she's barking so much. Go home and then we'll figure That's enough for her. It's enough. Okay, so best place to do hair is outside. You just sweep it off into the ground. Birds come get it. So I'm gonna do Steven's hair now. His is a simple shave. I can do that. Steven, come here, bud. Steven. Show the camera how great you look. Okay, look at the handsome boy. Are you gonna see yourself here? <laughs> what do you think? No? I wanted to keep my hair. You wanted to keep your hair, but it makes you cooler. It doesn't mm -hmm. stay up. Look, he's right here too. Okay, we're gonna go get a bath. Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah. look who just got out of the top. Like look at Max. Did you get the paint off her? Oh, I didn't even see the paint off her. No, no, bottom. Don't fit her. I fit her freely. But she didn't like her, she was so sad. Oh, I'm so sorry. You have to get clean. Brooklyn, oh, dry up. wash your face this time. Brooklyn, clean her. Look at her, she's like, I'm so angry she at you guys. Good. You smell good. She was growling at her. <laughs> she growled at you? I turned the um, sink on, like I, I used this thingy. Yeah? She growled at me. Really? Oh, like, my Maxine, you don't growl at the one that bathes you. I'm gonna bog mine. We got Jensen over here. What you doing there, Jensen? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a suspension in it. Really? In my beach wagon? I love it. Look how the dirt from the mountain coming down. We're in the van every time we go to the beach. <laughs> Jensen's like, we're taking the van every time we go to the beach. So we're taking the Honda Pilot. I know you do. There's just no air. Here, here's Kitty. Here's Bear. Look at the bear. That's a bear kitty. Okay, so I was thinking I'm going to come home and then I was like, Okay, I'll do baths right now, which Steven's in the tub right now. He was so excited. I let him take his little kai on. He's got like a little Lion King toy. He's like, can I take him to the bathtub? He's like, well, he was so excited. It's a little stuffed animal. I'll just put it in the washer. No big deal. But it like lit up his whole night that he could take a stuffed animal in the bathtub. So good things you gotta do for your kids. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna close this video and then I can work on it because it takes a while to crunch it. And then this way I can crunch it overnight and hopefully get it uploaded tomorrow for you guys to have for this week. Cause it takes a lot of time to do these things. And so I'm thinking that I'm gonna finish tonight and then that way, um, and then that way you guys will uh, be able to see this video. And then tomorrow, I'm just gonna be home tomorrow. We don't really have a whole lot to do tomorrow. And so I'm thinking Jane's gonna go to camp. So with church, so I'm thinking she'll go, but um, we'll be home most of the day and we don't have a whole lot planned. So I'm thinking, to paint tomorrow instead of open it up tonight and do that. That'll be a lot easier. But I'm a little tired today. It's okay. I'm not like super mom on the crazy go. I did a lot today, but I am a little bit tired. So I'm thinking I'll just wait till tomorrow to finish up the painting. So here comes Ruby. Hey, Ruby. She's like, let me know if there's some animal I can attack. So you guys have a fantastic day and we will see you guys again tomorrow. Okay, bye.